Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. And in the last part, uh, we were done with the details fragment, like we fetch uh, and we set the data based on the position that we had passed from the list fragment. So in this part, uh, we will add some quiz questions to Firestore Firebase database, and we'll try to fetch them. We'll create a repository and model a view model class for it. So that's the main uh, motto of this tutorial series to provide a separation with the help of MVVM architecture. So yeah, so I'll close this our details fragment and one thing make sure you add it, you add the internet permission in the manifest file like I have done. So yeah, whenever we are working with Firebase or any API, so we should always add the internet permission in the manifest file. So yeah, and so now just open the Google Chrome and Firebase, then your project. So I'll click on the Firestore database and so I have added some question already in the C programming like in here. So what you need to do uh, just click if you don't have these questions, of course you will not have just click on the start collection and type in the questions. Click next and then uh, click on the auto ID. Then we will have uh, six fields. So first field will be question and then we'll have the answer and then option A, option B, sorry, option C and the last one the time. So I'll name it as a timer and keep this as a number. So the uh, each question will have 10 seconds to solve. So just add here question and answer then option A, option B, option C. And then the timer. So make sure uh, these field names are exactly same in all the documents. Otherwise, it will not fetch the data uh, where the where where will be the typo error. So yeah. So just add some questions. You will find a lot of questions in on the internet. So yeah. I have added ten questions in here. So each question has six fields, answer, option A, option B, option C, question and timer. So uh, the sequence or order doesn't matter. What matters is the field name. So they should be exactly same in all the all the documents. So yeah. Then what we need to do, uh, we need to create one model class first. So new Java class and I'll name it as a question model. Okay, you can name it anything. Then first, uh, will have the question ID and we will annotate it as a document ID coming from Firestore database. Then we'll have the strings answer question option A. Sorry. You can name it option one as well, but you have to make it option one in Firebase as well. So option C and then we have the long variable that is the timer so yeah so yeah as you can see uh, these variable names are exactly same as the fields names so it can load the data perfectly then we'll create one constructor for this class for firebase then we'll create another constructor which will be parameterized. Click on OK. And also we will create getters and setters. So again, click on generate. Getter and setters, select all of this. Click on OK. So yeah, uh, this is our question model class. And then first of all, we'll create one repository class. And let's name it as a question a repository. And inside this, first uh, let's have Firebase first. And then also we will need to we'll need to create a mutable live data of list. Sorry, of list of question model. Let's let's just import the list. So alt enter. And then uh, let's give it name as a question mutable 
live data and then we'll create constructor of this class as well so question repository and in here we'll initialize the firebase pasto and then our mutable live data as well so new mutable live data and then semicolon okay and then what we'll do we will create one method to load the question so public void load or get questions so firebase faster dot collection and the first collection name is quiz as you all know then our document so yeah we will need to create one variable so private string and let's name it as a quiz id and also we'll create one setter for it so click on generate and setter for the quiz id so later we can pass that uh, quiz id using this setter and we'll pass it here so let me continue from the next line that's then the question our collection name so questions make sure it is exactly same as it is here so yeah then we'll use dot get dot add on complete listener new on complete listener semicolon and let's just delete the JDBrains annotations so again here we'll have one check so if task is successful we'll also have one else so we'll create one interface to handle the if and else condition here so public interface and its name will be on question on question load and this will have two methods so void on on load and in here we'll pass the list of question model question models and then also for the error so on error and in here we'll just pass one exception and then semicolon so if the task is successful okay first uh, private and our interface name is on question load on question load and we'll also pass in the interface over here as well so on question load so our view model can implement these two methods on question load and then this dot on question load equals to on question load and if the task is successful on question load dot on load and here task dot get result dot two objects and the class name will be question model dot class and if else we will invoke the another method that is on error and here task dot get exception and that's it i guess so yeah yeah again uh, actually we don't need uh, the live data variable here so we'll just cut it and we'll also delete this so now uh, in the view model we'll create a new class let's name it as a question view model and this will extends to view model so we'll paste that uh, in here then we will create a instance of our question repository class so let's name it as a repository and again we will create the construct of this class as well and in here we report questions mutable live data equals to new mutable live data and then the repository equals to new question repository and i'll pass in this and then press alt enter make question view model uh, implement the interface two methods so yeah this one and this one so in the on error we just log this error statement so you dot get message and in the tag let's write quiz error to identify the error later so in here what we can do we'll call our questions mutable live data and then 
dot set value will pass in the question models that we get passed from the repository class and again we will create the one method to set the quiz id and we will pass in the string quiz id here and then the repository dot set quiz id method and quiz id so this is how we will set the quiz id in the view model class so yeah that's pretty much stuff and in case if you need to add some changes here we'll come back now what we'll do uh, we'll move to our quiz fragment let me just close this close this and the quiz fragment it's here so yeah from the list fragment what we can do we can copy the on create method so control c and i'll paste it over here then we'll create the view model instance here so private questions view model let's name it as a view model and this should be questions view model and this will be happy then we will create the now controller instance okay and we will also implement the on view created method now controller equals to view dot find now controller equals to navigation dot find now controller and we'll pass in the view here then semicolon i'll delete this uh, jetbrains annotation and this one also yeah now it looks cool so the lengthy work that we need to find all the ids of these widgets so i will do that now so first of all we have one progress bar let's name it as a progress bar then we have the three buttons alt enter to import the button class so option one button option two button next question button and then we have the text views so the text view first the question tv question text view and then uh, answer feedback answer feedback tv and also we have the question number tv and then timer count tv so let's just check again what else we have so this one is the timer the question number and yeah we are remaining with the close button which is an image view and its id is image view 3 okay doesn't matter oh, you can change it as well so yeah image view and this is the close quiz button and now we'll find all the ids of these widgets so we have finded all the ids of our widgets so now what uh, we will do so now we will create uh, another method that will load the questions so load questions and we'll use our view model dot on load okay so yeah uh, i forgot to add getter for our questions mutable live data click on ok and yeah this will be happy sorry i uh, get question mutable live data dot observe and here we need to write this as owner or we can write uh, get life cycle owner get view life cycle owner and then new observer and yeah so first of all we'll set the question tv so question tv dot set text question models dot get and yeah uh, let's just pass one uh, i variable here 
so get i minus one so i'll explain you this later and then dot get question so when we will call this a uh, load question method we'll pass the i as a one so we'll get this question models of index are uh, zero and then we have the option one button so dot set text set text and then again question models dot get i minus one dot get option a duplicate this option two and this will be option three this will be b and this will be c okay so i think uh, that's it for this part uh, or it will confuse you if i extend this part so from the next part we will work on the again setting the data because it's it's gonna take a longer time so yeah that's it and do subscribe thank you for watching